surprised that you haven't paid attention to this very important element of your wardrobe and your style. You talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. Very much to you. Most of the men out there do not pay attention to the pair of socks that they wear. Socks have often been underrated. But let me tell you, a pair of socks can actually elevate your style and your presence. So today I'm going to talk about socks. This video is not only going to help you know what are the kinds of socks that you should have but also how to style them and where to wear them. I'm here Shubha Joshi, your host and this channel is all about enhancing your style, behavior and confidence. speaking men do not pay attention to the kind of socks that they wear i have seen them wearing white socks with their formals now white socks are good for school children but for adults i think the best way is to wear something nice and stylish so that it seems that you have put some thought and effort into dressing yourself up where one set of men are keen on wearing their white socks the other set of men use their socks till the last breath These socks are distressed and absolutely dying to their last breath. So you also need to pay attention to the life of your socks. If they are absolutely worn out, you need to replace them as well. It's not that they are underneath your shoe, so nothing will be visible. My suggestion is that whatever you wear should be in good shape and also stylish. White socks are not aesthetically pleasing to the eyes. You can replace the white ones with another pair of formal socks which I will be sharing with you what can these be but remember that you don't really have to stick to one particular type which is why this video because I want to share with you these different kinds of socks that you can wear according to the setting that you're going to be in. If it's a formal setting, socks would be different. If, you, if you're going on a date, then it could be different. If it's a meeting that's a little bit on the casual side, then even in that case, the socks can be different. So according to the occasion, according to the setting and people that you're going to be with, the socks can change. Actually, they must change. So what are these things that determine what socks you should wear and when? One of the most important things is the length of the socks. The first type is the no-show socks. These are also called loafer socks, but most people refer to them as no-show socks. They're meant to be worn with loafers, sneakers, moccasins, and boat shoes. No-show socks are perfect for summertime, especially if you are wearing shorts. They are also great to wear with cropped or cuffed trousers and chinos during warmer months. Let me tell you, no-show socks are best for summer suiting. But if you are going for formals, wear mid-calf length socks. The next one on the list are the ankle socks. Ankle socks are longer than no-show socks but shorter than mid-calf length socks. They end right at, you guessed it right, your ankles and they are not meant to be invisible like no show my suggestion is to keep these ankle length socks for your sports let's say hiking or cycling or running these days low cut ankle socks are more popular than high cut ones look at this picture where it goes so well with a pair of sports shoes the third one on the list is the mid calf length socks probably the most popular ones in the market and a lot of you would be having them already. These socks go up past your ankles and hit right where the mid to upper calf is. These are the kind of socks that you should be wearing with formals. Needless to mention, when you are in a formal setting and your trouser moves up a little bit, your skin gets visible. And if you're wearing ankle length socks, then it's going to be visible all the more. So you want to wear something that keeps it seamless. You know, the, the view is seamless from the shoe up to the trouser and no skin is visible. So the best ones therefore are these the mid calf length socks. The last one on the list is the knee high length socks or over the calf socks. Typically dressier than the ones that we talked about earlier and therefore they are made from higher end material like wool or even silk with some kind of blend. Compared to the mid calf length socks, these high knee socks have the advantage of not falling off your calf over and over again. These just hit below your knee and the round tapered shape of your calf prevents these 
from sagging with every step. When shopping these socks, you must consider the kind of outfits and shoes you're going to wear with them. This takes us to the next step of choosing the right kind of socks for yourself, which is fabrics. One of the most popular choices is cotton. Cotton is strong but soft, retains heat, is more breathable and stretches easily. Cotton is often blended with synthetic fibers for better performance and durability. 100% cotton socks are good for your office wear but for your performance wear, like when you're working out, the best ones are the ones that are blended with wool because they are slightly thicker than your office wear socks. These are not just more stretchable but they also absorb sweat more because wool is even more breathable than cotton. Thanks to its ability to keep the feet cool even during scorching summer months and warm during colder winter months. Wool may be blended with other fabrics to add strength, durability and even stretchability. The next one on the list are the synthetic ones. Synthetic socks are an important addition to any collection, especially if you play soccer or football. These lightweight socks are not adept at preventing perspiration. Their resilience makes them an important asset for long-term durability. Last but not least are the very fine cashmere and silk ones. These are made for very special occasions. These are expected to be worn with Oxfords and very formal wear. Disadvantage is that they become worn out easily. Cashmere is perhaps a luxury one but still affordable. So if you want to have something for uh, your formal events and a very dressier wear, then go for this one. When talking about synthetic socks, one of the most popular ones in the market is rayon. And rayon can be made with other sources of cellulose. Bamboo is an increasingly popular option due to its soft, durable feel and its hypoallergic antimicrobial property. The next thing that you have to keep in mind while buying socks or wearing them to a particular occasion are prints or solids. You must weigh both these options. Solids are for your formal wear, especially if the length is mid-calf and even prints of some sort are formal but let's talk about what kind of prints you can actually wear for formals and what are the ones that are more snazzy and you can wear them to a less formal setting so when we talk about prints all these diagonal stripes and rhombus shaped or even checks that you see these are all formals the more colors you have in your socks the more they move towards the casual side if we talk about the degree of formality in socks with regard to prints then the ones that are absolutely formal are the solids and then comes the diagonal prints then comes the smaller checks then comes the horizontal stripes and then comes polka dots and so on. The kind of designs that you see on your screen, these are considered more towards the casual side. However, this can be balanced well with the kind of colors that you're wearing. If your outfit already has more than three colors and then you're wearing this pair of socks with more than three colors, then it's going to make you look even more casual. However, if you're wearing a monotone or you're wearing just two colors in your outfit, then you can pull off the third color with the socks. For instance, if you're wearing an olive color suit along with a white shirt, you can wear socks that has more than two colors, olive, white, and yellow. So you can pull off the third element beautifully. Your appearance will not only reflect formality, but also add a hint of playfulness to it. If you want to play safe, then I'd say wear diagonal ones. If you want to show your playfulness, then polka dots or with these kind of prints, but don't go for absolutely crazy ones. Let's also talk about the colors. How can we forget them? Best ones are your neutrals. If you want to go for formals, navy blue, black, gray, maroon, beige, and burgundy. If you want, you can completely match them with your trousers or your shoes. But if you want to add more style to your look, then instead of wearing just a boring neutral black socks with your black trousers, you can actually wear this kind of a sock. If you want to make your overall look more interesting, you need to add a third color to it. But be conscious of not adding more than three colors because then it's going to make it even more casual. 
These are some examples. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you did learn something. This is just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to get your styling done or image consulting done, then we are here to help you. You can contact on the below given number or email us at contact at the image launchpad.com. And if you've liked the video, then do subscribe to the channel as well. That's all for now. Stay confident, stay stylish.